Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just did several videos about the boundary tool. But if you can see, these are all grouped together and the boundary tool doesn't come up. So you have to ungroup them for the boundary tool to, or do what we did in the previous videos uh, about alternate key and J and P and B. But regardless if it's grouped or not, another way you can do it is just take a rectangle around all your items that you want to put a boundary around. Take your smart fill tool. Let's, let's set our smart fill on red. And let's fill this in. Now nudge that down. Now we can left click, right click. And if you're going to cut them, just make sure your outline is a, I'm using somebody else's file. But okay, you've got a rectangle around it. Just go up to object, break curve apart, and take that rectangle out. Now you have boundaries around those stars and you can nudge them right back up to where they were and there's a boundary. And just like in previous videos, we can open the contour tool and because it's grouped together, they won't do it. But if we go to group or group to group it now, we can contour. Let's actually contour in a black so we can see it because we got red. So now you have a contour around those lines Let's go in, we got it selected. Let's go to object, break the contour apart. And let's nudge that down, which is the red. We'll actually make these red now by right clicking. And let's nudge them up. So now we've got a cut line, a boundary line that's a little bit off our wood, off our engraving. So you can do a lot with the um, Smart build tool. Let's just make another item real quick. And you could put a boundary around these guys. Sure enough, there it is. But also if, if this is grouped together or welded together, you can't do it. Now we, we showed in a previous video that you can, but you could always use the smart fill tool, fill in that space. What it did, it made a new object, left click, right click, Go up to object, break curve apart, get rid of the rectangle. And now you have an outline around those objects. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. Thank you for watching.